In an alternate timeline of Avatar, Princess Katara practices her bloodbending on her own water tribe guards as Lady Hama supervises her training. Before Katara goes too far bloodbending one of the warriors, Lady Hama steps in, telling Katara to stop. She reluctantly listens to her teacher as the warrior's body falls lifelessly on the ground. Suki also stands witness to the other three guards who are all unconscious as Katara asks Lady Hama how she did. Hama claims Katara is truly a prodigy, able to bloodbend effortlessly and without a full moon. Katara thanks Hama for her teaching and guidance before they switch topics to her mission to rescue Sokka from the Avatar. Hama recommends a small elite team of no more than three, and Suki immediately volunteers, leaving one more spot available. Katara already has someone in mind, and they go to retrieve her, and she even thanks her brother for getting captured, so Katara has a chance to see how strong the Avatar really is. But before that battle, they are tested by another infamous bender, Toph.